I need it! What the hell is even that? Hey guys, Editing Zach here. Um, uh, I am a kind of a fucking retard because this this Ultra Pastor, what I thought was an Ultra Pastor, is actually the U Start version of their um, shit, and I did not notice this until I was editing this video. So I had to reorder this to get the actual Ultra Capacitor. It will be here by Tuesday, but everything you'll see in this video is the exact same thing that you'll do with the Ultra Capacitor. Just pretend that it is the Ultra Capacitor and don't mind my dumb mistake. Hey guys, right, back to the in video. today's video, I'll be installing the U Start Ultra Capacitor. I'll leave, I'll pop it up on the screen right now on Amazon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it goes for about like 140 right now. I remember when it was going for like like 500 bucks. It has dropped down in price a lot, and I've heard some good things about this thing. And let's see how much it actually affects our car. So right now we have the positive side and the negative side, and we have let's see the run, um, maintain, air. So I'm pretty sure it's also like Bluetooth or something or Wi-Fi or I forget. But it is not a battery. It is it is not a battery. It's actually an ultra capacitor. If you don't know what an ultra capacitor is, it is an electrical storage device that can store and release large amounts of electrical energy quickly. All right, guys. So there's a couple things I have to do before installing this ultra capacitor. I gotta clean up my car and and uh, crimp and strip some wire so I can actually put it to the negative and positive on the terminal. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'll explain it when I get in the car. So I'm gonna probably have to reposition my battery, um, moves the subs a little closer, and we'll just see. I'm gonna have to re-wire re, uh, some of the stuff and let's just get into it. Let's just go down to the car and do all that. All right guys, so this is what I have so far. I moved the battery to the side. I have the ultra capacitor right there. It has a Velcro tape on it, so it's not it's not going anywhere. I know if I think that Velcro tape is, yeah, that's, it's strong enough. Um, and I also, so I got my SMD meter. I'll do a video on that soon. I can now um, see all the watts pushing through so I can give you all a better um, video for it. And I have the subs, I pushed up the subs. Um, yes, there we go. Very, very nice. There we go. And yeah, let's just, now we just got to wire everything up. So I'm probably going to have to extend every wire. I'll get back to you when I do that. All right. So basically the wire, this ultra faster, what I have to do, let's go over here. I have to wire the battery first and then off the positive battery, go to the positive on ultra faster and then go to the positive right here. Same thing with the negative. Negative on the battery goes to the negative on the ultra capacitor. And then neg and you can actually just stay that because negative, I have my negative already in right here. So it doesn't need to go off the ultra capacitor. I'm pretty sure the only the positive does. Um, I'll look that up though, just to make sure. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. All right guys, the ultra capacitor is now set up. I'm gonna show you what I did and how I wired everything. So basically I extended the fuse right here going along there to the positive right there. And then from that positive, I have another fuse going to the positive on the ultra capacitor. And from the, and then that next positive on that ultra capacitor goes all the way to the amp. So basically what you do is you do, you connect the battery like normal. And then from the battery, you go to the positive on the battery to the positive on the ultra capacitor. And then from that positive, you go to the amp and then you just connect the negative and negative on the ultra capacitor. And you, if you already have a negative on the amp, then you should be good. And yeah, that's really how you do it. So basically positive right here, this is the positive, positive going to the positive on the ultra capacitor. Then this one is coming from the ultra capacitor to the amplifier. So. I made sure to have another fuse. I wanted to install two fuses. So one right there and one right there, just for safe measure. I should have installed three, but I think it will be okay. 
And yeah, that's the ultra capacitor. So let's do a little demo and see if our voltage drops. All right guys, I'm just doing a 40 Hertz frequency test. And it's the same one I did on my battery last time it dropped down to 11.5. Let's see if it stays at 11.5 or it goes higher. All right, let's turn it up. which is definitely higher. I was expecting a little bit more, but I mean, if it helps my voltage in any way, I do like that. So that's that's the ultra capacitor back there. And I did need to rewire some stuff, so that's why it's like this. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, half a, half a volt is pretty good too. Um, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. The devil trying to hit my phone